Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you different piano roll workflow tips that I'm using all of the time. So as you can see, first we have our regular piano roll here that's showing one of the root notes here, as you can see. So first I'm going to show you how to have every single note here being shown as what note there are. So you can do that by go to view key labels and all notes and now you can see all of the notes are labeled now so it's a lot easier now to navigate between the notes and uh, you can do it very easily now so if you go to this menu here and go to view you can see there are a lot of different things you can customize here you can even do the different keyboard styles you can have it uh, being shown a bit different and uh, yeah you have a lot of different things you can do here so I would just suggest you to go through this and customize it as the way you want. And this is the nice thing about FS Studio. This is what I like with FS Studio, that it's so customizable that there are so much things you can do here. So another thing that I want to show you is the helpers. So if you go to the helpers here, you can see something called Skay Highlightening. But for this to work, you need first to have the ghost channels on. So let's enable this first and then go to scale highlighting. So if you go to scale highlighting, you can see that right now it's shown at root note C and minor natural. What this means is that now all of the notes in the C minor natural scale will be shown in white here. So it's very easy to create a chord progression and melodies and other melodic things like that, because now you just have to watch the lighter sections in the piano roll and then you can place a note there and it will be in in the same scale so if we go to let's say um helpers we want to create let's say we want the minor f so now i can create a corporation here so if we go to f and now i just watch the light sections here the light rows so i just go with f let's say that i want g here and i want um, the a sharp there and now we can create chords on top of that so let's say that i want something like this so let's say that i create a chord progression now in the f minor scale so it's basically just to Do it like this. So now it's very easy to create these chord progressions and you can create melodies on top of that by just randomly putting notes in the white sections here and it will sound good or it will sound the right way so you don't you're not going out of the scale so that is very important to have in fl studio i really like the helper section and the view section and all of the different sections that there are in fl studio for the piano roll I think I've tried out so many digital audio workstations out there like Cubase and I work in Logic Pro 10. I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer, so I'm used to Logic Pro a lot and I still like the piano roll in FL Studio. It's the best one out there, I think. It's so quick and easy to use and you get so inspired by just seeing that it's so easy to create corporations by just watching these different white sections in the piano roll so you're not blind or uh, you don't have to actually know piano theory that much. You can just program different cool chords. And with the helpers, you can actually create different chords um, that is not that common. So you can go with minor harmonic for instance which is a lot cooler in my opinion and it sounds sounds more emotional for some reason so i use that sometimes and um 
yeah i mean you can explore the corporations here and one corporation can actually lead to a whole new track you know so that is what i like with the piano roll and this with the helpers here has made my workflow to go up drastic so this is what i wanted to share with you in this video let's see you in the next one